several more examples of working with complex numbers. Um, in these examples, we're just going to simplify some statements. So we have the square root of negative 9 plus the square root of negative 100. Um, to simplify this, we're going to factor, all right? And let's just think of negative 9 as 9 times negative 1. And let's think of negative 100 as 100 times negative 1. And the reason we do that is because we have that rule of radicals to where we can split this up into the product of two separate radicals. Now, that doesn't work with sums and uh, subtractions or sums and differences. So this is the square root of 9 times the square root of negative 1 plus the square root of 100 times the square root of negative 1. Now, we know the square root of 9 is 3. We know the square root of 100 is 10. And we both know, or we both, we know that both of the square roots of negative one is going to be i. So we end up with 3i plus 10i, and that's going to end up being 13i. Okay, so really easy to try to work through that. Similarly, we have two roots of negative 16 minus five roots of negative 49. And so using the exact same idea, we would have root 16 times one minus five roots of 49 times negative 1. And so that's going to be 2 root 16 root negative 1 minus 5 root 49 root negative 1. We know root of 16 is going to be 4, so we get 2 times 4 times i minus 5 times 7 times i. All right, so again, that's going to be our negative 1, that's going to be our 7, that's going to be our i, and that's going to be our 16. And so we end up with 8i minus 35i. And so 8 minus 35 is going to be a negative 27i. Okay, so that one wasn't so bad. Um, again, that's how we just go through and try to simplify these. Um, one last example before we get to quadratics is we have this i plus 2's quantity squared minus 7 minus 3i quantity squared. So we're going to turn this into two FOIL problems and then try to collect like terms and then finally simplify. So let's start by writing this quote unquote binomial like term as i plus 2 times i plus 2 minus 7 minus 3i times 7 minus 3i. And so if we FOIL i times i, i times 2, that's going to be i squared plus 2i plus another 2i plus 4 minus, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in brackets. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times negative 3 is going to be negative 21i. That should be a 1 there. Apologies. Um, and then we're going to get another 21i from the inner terms. And then finally, negative 3i times negative 3i is a positive 9i squared. All right, now we're going to combine like terms and also take care of the i squared terms. All right, so we have 2i and 2i, that's going to be 4i, and we have an i squared, which is negative 1. So we get negative 1 plus 4i plus 4 minus, so now we have 49 minus 42i from combining those. And remember, i squared just changes the sign in front because it's a negative 1. So that's minus 9. Um, combining inside the brackets, negative 1 and 4 is 3. So we get 3 plus 4i minus, we have 49 minus 9, which is 40 minus 42i. We're going to distribute the negative. And we have 3 plus 4i minus 40 plus 42i. And then finally, to put it in the form a plus bi, 3 minus 40 is negative 37. 4i and 42i is going to be 46i. And we're done. Right? So this is a good problem to kind of practice some of the skills that we learned earlier in this section with multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Right? So our last video in this section, all we're going to do is we're going to solve two quadratic types of equations that have complex roots in them, and then we'll be done with this one.